Our project aims to increase education and awareness on sustainable menstrual health by providing a regular information session to students on campus regarding these topics. The relevant SDGs are three, good health and well-being, four, quality education, and five, gender equality. Some menstruating students may have limited knowledge on reproductive hygiene. Considering how menstrual health has been a taboo topic for decades, students still struggle to discuss these issues. Due to this, many are unaware of proper disposal and sustainable period practices. This causes menstruating in individuals to fall into the trap of commercialization of feminine hygiene when better options like reusable cotton pads and menstrual cups exist. Studies have shown that on average, 1 in 10 college students cannot afford tampons and pads. The average woman spends $13.25 on feminine hygiene products per cycle, which as a recurring expense causes period poverty. In order to increase awareness among both menstruating and non-menstruating individuals, we are proposing the development of an informational workshop discussing the realities of menstruation through a wide variety of topics including sustainable product options, menstrual capitalism, global accessibility, and degendering menstruation. These workshops will be available twice a semester for all Georgia Tech students and attendance should be highly encouraged by our campus health professors. Each session will provide free menstrual cups available so all menstruating attendees in order to directly advance the relevant SDGs and our solution. Our solution will be implemented in partnership with the Menstrual Product Program, a health group on campus, providing menstrual products such as tampons and pads to students, as well as the Global Leadership LLC and APPH 1040 and 1050 professors on campus. We hope to further educate both menstruating and non-menstruating people at Georgia Tech. This seminar may also be beneficial to international students who may be from countries that see topics relating to feminine health as taboo. Male students and teachers can also benefit from the session and they'll be able to help the menstruating people in their lives deal with these sorts of issues as a result. The Hofstede dimension, individualism versus collectivism, is relevant to our solution because it will encourage society to be more collectivist as we take responsibility for one another's well-being, because those who do not menstruate will be able to learn more about a community that they are not explicitly a part of. We hope to garner financial support from Stamps Health Services, the School of Biology, and the Women's Resource Center to create a sustainable business plan for this session so that it can be held without fail each semester. In conclusion, our session aims to raise education and awareness among both menstruating and non-menstruating peoples at Georgia Tech who may not be aware of the realities of menstrual health. Thanks for watching.